I think that the first message we wanted to leave the delegates with is the importance of a data-driven decision-making process to assist those of us who happen to find ourselves in the intersection between public policy, business and society. PAMRO being PAMRO, it's an organization of people who are working with data science, who are working with research, who actually produce and are responsible as a platform for generating the type of data that we require to be able to solve the problems of humanity that we face, especially in the African continent. So that was the one aspect of it. The second part of it was to try and share our own perspective in biz as business, the idea of the risks and the big issues that governments and us as business leaders are now facing and confronting in dealing with, again, not only from a policy point of view, but from a point of view of saying we need this level of capability and understanding to enable us to navigate a very treacherous, difficult terrain today in respect of what these global challenges actually start to look like. And that was a very, very important message. Uh, and I think that those are the two main things that my particular presentation dealt with. What are some of the challenges that businesses are facing? Not only in South Africa, also in Africa. I, I think that the, the things that I put, like I had this huge slide where I started talking about the uncertainty, which is actually posed by global risks, posed by geopolitics, posed by cyber security, posed by artificial intelligence, uh, pose about the movement of people and migration, uh, given the fact that there is this asymmetric uh, nature of development across this particular economy. So if the economy in, um, in Zimbabwe collapses and the people start moving in droves into the South African environment and they put a lot of pressure on the infrastructure, they put a lot of pressure on the healthcare system, on the educational system, etc., etc., and that in itself does not help in creating social cohesion. So that's a very big issue in being able to identify problems before they arise and we need people who are in research to be able to be in front of the story not behind the story because in a number of cases sometimes they will only do work because it's been commissioned but there's a lot of work that ought to be done before problems arise climate change is going to be one big issue nuclear security is another mega 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 project so we now need to know and talk about technological governance because as you build these things of digital ai where is the governance and how are we going to do all these things by leaving swaths and masses of people behind because that in itself creates its own instability where people do not have the capabilities to be able to operate in the new world and yet you are throwing all this technology at people so the ethics of that particular equation now start to say to us wait 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 we need to have a better understanding of how we create an inclusive community whether it's going to be digital whether it's going to be ai whether it's going to be in fourth industrial revolution it has to be inclusive otherwise the whole system is going to fall apart